Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of inequalities on a number line. This is standard 7.10b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have uh, four number lines and one of them is going to best represent this inequality. So what do we do with this inequality? Well, we need to do like we would with an equation. We need to isolate the variable. And so we can just treat uh, for these purposes here, we can treat this inequality as if it's an equal sign. And we could do what we normally do to isolate that variable. Uh, the only thing we need to watch for is since it's an inequality, if we multiply or divide by a negative number, we're going to need to flip the inequality. But first, uh, let's just see this plus, this minus 9. I'm going to add 9 to both sides. And I'm just adding 9. I'm not necessarily multiplying or dividing. Uh, so we don't have to worry about possibly flipping inequality. So those two are going to stay the same. They're going to cancel each other out. So I've got 3.3w is greater than ooh, negative 22 uh, plus 9. So that's going to be negative 13.2. It's almost, almost as if we're uh, subtracting there. So negative 13 because it's a negative 22 and then plus 9 gets it closer, right? So here's my number nine, here's my zero, right? Here's my negative 22 plus nine is going to get you closer to zero. So that's where the negative 13 comes from. Okay, so I've got 3.3w is greater than negative 13w. So now the only thing I need to do is divide both sides by 3.3. It's a positive 3.3, so I'm not needing to flip that inequality. So, hmm. That's kind of a gross one right there. It's going to be W is greater than, what in the world is 3.3 into negative 13.2. Well, I'm going to multiply both of these by 10. I want to get that decimal out of there. So 33 goes into, I'm just going to try 4. That's probably it. So that's 12, yeah, 132. But it's a negative 132 which means it's going to be negative 4. So it looks like I've got it here. W is greater than negative 4. So here's my negative 4. So obviously we have to figure out which way is greater than. If we're going greater than, we are going to go this way. So one thing we always need to realize is that these are open circles which means I cannot include negative 4. So if uh, this were greater than or equal to, then I could close the circle and include it. So let's just, uh, let's try a number just to make sure our number set works. So I'm, you know what, let's just go easy. Um, let's just try 0. So I'm going to do 3.3 .3 times 0 minus 9 greater than negative 22.2. Well, that is obviously just 0. So negative 9 is greater than negative 22.2, which you have to get with a negative. So here's my negative 9, right? My negative 9 if, would be here. My negative 22 would be way over here. So that does, that does check out. Uh, let's try one that we think won't work. Um, let's try a negative 10. So we'll do 3.3 times negative 10 minus 9 is greater than negative 22.2. This should not work. So that's going to be negative 33 minus 9 is greater than negative 22.2. That's negative 42. And negative 42 is farther away from zero, which means it is less than, not greater than. So our answer here is G.